We're going to the dentist today. Finn, Finn has perfection of teeth. If you absolutely can't do it, then you don't have to do it. And you were bragging about how your teeth were perfect. Dental anxiety conquered. You left me behind. I didn't sleep. Weird. And I got two candies. Weird. That's strange. And five dollars. Wow, that's pretty cool. There's awesome. a bunch of the packs of candies yeah. in here. There's three. I bet you Jasper's waiting for you to share, huh? He is. He's been telling him which one of this he wants. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the mystery one. Well, I guess that's good timing because we're going to the dentist today. And that means you have to do something about that hair. Right? Good morning, Seekers. I'm glad you found us today. It is a Thursday morning. Afternoon. It's legitimately, it's afternoon. What can I say? We already saw you this morning when Ruby showed us what the Tooth Fairy brought her. And now we are headed out to our fabulous dentist. Today we are seeing a different dentist. We have seen him, I think, once before, Dr. Rupp. We had to change our schedule around because of our big pioneer trek that's coming up next week. So we are seeing someone different today, but I think it's going to go okay. The main person I'm worried about is the J-man back there. He has got some pretty significant looking something or other between his front teeth. I'm guessing he's going to need a cap or crown or something like that which is going to be quite a problem considering I'm not going to be like walking for a little while. Yeah he already has crowns. He's got bad teeth just like Sullivan did. Some of my kids have had issues and some haven't. It's just really weird. I don't have any teeth issues though. What? You got no teeth issues? Nope. Finn, Finn has perfection of teeth. The best. Mm, no. What? Cavities? I honestly. I don't even know. Am I supposed to remember how many cavities my kids have had? Yeah. I have nine children. You know, I only remember Sullivan because it was tragic and traumatic. Then you've had a cavity if you have crowns. Yeah. I think I had four That's crowns. That's just how it I is. I had one. I had one crown. All right. Well, anyway, we're heading to the dentist. Masks are no longer required for the first time since COVID-19. They are recommended, but we're not going to wear them. I'm vaccinated, and the kids are not sick, so we're going without masks. Hopefully, they let us in. concerned with as you can see between his top front front teeth and he's already had so many of them replaced I'm just like he's just gonna be metal now he's five. he is uh, he is my I have I have five sons he's my third one to have issues and then I have all these other children that have never had issues so just some of them just do what 
Oh, look how tall you are. Stand up tall. Now, no, you weren't that tall last time, six months ago. Oh, you are much taller now. Yeah, look at you. You're so tall too. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You bumped your nose on the wall. Whoops. You got this. You've done it a million times. Oh, you hurt your hand too when you fell? I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. The chair still? You know, you're barely. Only like two inches from the end. absolutely can't do it then you don't have to do it it's like not the end of the world but I bet it you could be do super it yep it does not hurt you at all I promise good job there you go you got it good job Chew it like you're biting your, yeah. <laughs> your cute teeth with one missing. <laughs> Came out yesterday. Cool, it's like a robot. Good job, just hold still and bite down. Fancy. That's a cool machine there, huh? It's like a future machine, huh? <laughs> wow. Look at all those crazy teeth. Those are all your teeth. Weird. What do you think of that, Ruby? Was it worth it? Was it too hard? No? Summer. Are you? Are you having an awesome summer? <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, until you start looking in her teeth. Ruby, how old are you now? Eight. Yeah, I'm gonna put your hairs right here, just so we don't get them by your teeth. Okay, dear. All right, let's take a look. Let's see. Do you have any loose ones? Oh, tell them about your teeth. Hey, last night. Congrats. <laughs> what did you do with it? Put it under my and what happened? And, and I got um, candy from the tooth. <laughs> oh, that is exciting. Here, Hannah, I'm going to turn your head. Our tooth fairy is trying to make the other ones fall out faster. Yeah, I understand. Tooth fairies <laughs> all are wise. And she, and does, they have their she has another regular tooth. Okay. Yep. Let's yeah. look with our mirror. Okay, can you open me the wire? We're going to shine the flashlight in here. Beautiful teeth. Okay, now we're going to see how your teeth fit together. Will you bite down for me? Perfect. Okay, open wide again, and we're gonna touch this one right there. Yep, that's, that's the wiggly one. one. Open big for me. This one too, I bet. Yep. That one's not quite as loose as this one. Okay, now let's open as wide as you can and look at these back teeth. And then you can have... watch this thing possibly between 20 and 29, and we okay. got a piano today. So. Perfect. We'll look at that in just a moment. And then you bite wings. Yeah, you step over just a little bit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's the pictures. <laughs> hey, you're gonna love this. I don't see a single cavity. Woo! Q5. Yeah, give me five too. That's awesome. We can fix it. These two teeth fall out about age seven. To me, it's more if it, if it bothers you cosmetically, we just. Oh, fix it. I don't care if it, it's cosmetic but, as long as it's not. But it's healthy. I mean, kay. there's no decay, so I think we just leave it. And this tooth comes out on that. Yeah, about sounds age good seven. to me then. That makes me feel a lot less stressed out. Permanent. All four. Has that stickiness, so we'll have Ooh. to see him back twice, one side and the other side. Dude. And you were bragging about how your teeth were perfect, and you're the only one with cavities. Four. You were in the car. I have it on video. <laughs> He's like, dang it. <laughs> now, now your your uh, stalkers are gonna make fun of you again, huh? Yeah. Dang it. Get a prize. Mom, this is something weird. Look at that. Are we, are we going home? I don't know what we're doing yet. Oh, it's cold. It's not cold. Actually, it's raining. It's not cold at all. Hey, it's raining. We are in the middle of a terrible drought, and everyone has been praying for rain. It has been like record heat this month. It's been insane. So many hundred degree days in June. And this morning I woke up, it smelled like rain, and now it's raining again. Yay, rain! It's not in quite enough rain. We need like a downpour, it's even but like, this is at least it. Rain. Yeah, <laughs> at least it feels sort of like. Yeah, this is Disneyland rain, huh? Yeah. It's exactly what it feels like when it rains at Disneyland. Just a little sprinkles. Yeah, Usually when it rains here, it's like a deluge downpour, but it's like this big drop. I love. That it feels rain. pretty good. I love when it rains. So, Jasper's teeth. It was a chip from chewing, grinding his teeth. So he's fine. And Finn, who claimed his teeth were perfect, has four cavities. Wait, four? I thought it was four. four. Wait, what? Oh, One in each of his 12 year old molars. And Ruby did super awesome with her anxiety. She tried something new. She let the, the lady clean her teeth and she didn't scream. Woo, key five. Dental anxiety conquered. I did my first time doing the like head yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty like, fun. Did Finn get a I thought it was I, don't know. I think he did, we just weren't watching him. It sucks. I did it, it's but really nice when it rains. Alright, everybody get in the car. I have a visitor. Hello. Hey puppy. Rough. So it's getting all ready to go. The trek. He put no fresh tires. Get new tires on. The others were split halfway around. How close are you to uh, this being done, this project here? Almost. That's it. That's the last thing for the trip. How, how much hope do these children have a of a swimming pool being completed before we leave so that there's time to fill it before their party on Friday? Party on Friday? Not very high because it takes like three days to fill. I don't want to bring it up until you're really close to finishing this project, but if it's not done before we leave, there won't be a swimming pool for Fourth of July party, which we've all invited people to. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Hot Sunday. We're going walking again. I went seven miles last night by myself. By myself. She wouldn't go. And apparently Finn found out we were going to Costa Vida, so he's coming too. I don't know where he went. Did he leave without us? Does he even know where we're going? I gave them a hard time about slowing me down, so they got way ahead of me, and they're freaking out because I'm catching up. I'm not worried. <laughs> Good way to keep them motivated to walk faster. Get this done faster.
dog in the stay away from me. I don't know if I can keep up with that. Clear up there. To me, made to look slow. And me, I'm literally pushing as hard as I can go, and I cannot catch up. They are clear down there. I don't even know if you can see Finn. It's just like clear down there, and this is where I am. Clear back here. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like I'm walking alone at this point. But hey, at least we're gonna make it to Costa Vida before they close. <laughs> they left me in the dust. They're gone. I don't even know where they are anymore. Not on this road. It's kind of depressing. Time, 35 minutes. Distance, 1.98 miles. Average pace, 17 minutes, 36 seconds per mile. A minute faster than last night. And I can't even remotely catch them. And I'm starting to get disheartened and like feel abandoned and I don't know. That sucks. I think the Finn just thought it was like a funny thing to like keep him ahead of us and Virginia, she thinks it's a race and so she keeps trying to catch up with Finn. I wish she would just show, slow down and let me catch up a little bit. But I'm exhausted now because I've pushed myself to the limit and I really, we have another mile to go. So whatever, I give up. I'm just gonna go as slow as I want. They have to sit and wait for me for 20 minutes at Costa Vida. So be it. I don't even know where they are. Time, 45 minutes. Distance, 2.46 miles. Average pace, 18 minutes, 14 seconds per mile. Way down. This is depressing. Thank you. Made it to Costa Vida. Virginia's getting her drink. Finn likes to prove that he's fastest. Hey, I didn't challenge you. You left me behind. No, in the car set, said. I said you guys slowed me down. That's all I said. Yeah. I didn't say it was gonna be a race. You guys literally left me behind when I was trying to talk to Dad. Whatever. One of my face. You shouldn't have left Virginia. I didn't. I could see her the whole time. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I couldn't see you. That's what I'm saying. The part where it actually mattered. Whatever. We've walked almost six miles. We're almost back home. Earlier they were doing push-ups in the middle of the road back there. You know those guys from Star Wars? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs>